Hi everyone, my name is Robert Weiser. I currently teach Math 3 and AP Statistics, but in this series of videos I'm going to be going over the North Carolina Math 1 released items. You can find the link to these items through this website up here that's, that I've highlighted, and I'll put the link in the description into the videos, that way you can click on it so you can try them yourselves. Each of these videos is going to cover one question, so there'll be a series of 50 videos in this playlist. The first 15 videos are going to be calculator inactive, so I will not be using a calculator, but I will be going over any tips and tricks I can show you without using a calculator. Let's begin with number one. So question number one, it says, which choice of the is the graph of y equals 4 minus x in parentheses times x plus 2 in parentheses? And there are four uh, choices, and it looks like they're all parabolas, so they're going to be quadratic functions. With each of these questions, you should try them on your own before try, uh, for before checking the answer. So go ahead and pause the video and give it a shot, get your answer, and then you can unpause it and check for my solutions. Okay, the first thing you should know on this problem is that this is going to be in factored form. So because it's in factored form, we can actually get the zeros from this. So to get the zeros, what you're going to do is you're going to look at each of these factors. You're going to set them equal to zero. So if I add the x over, I'm going to get 4 equals x. And so therefore, one of your zeros is going to be 4. The other one, x plus 2 equals 0. And therefore, if I subtract 2 from 0, I'm going to get x equals negative 2. So I'm going to have zeros at uh, negative 2 and positive four. What are zeros? Zeros are, are values of x that lie on the x-axis um, and that the y value is equal to zero. So if you look at a graph, you think about the graph here, um, it's gonna cross the x-axis at two spots, negative two and positive four. Now it could do it a couple of different ways. It could open upwards like this, or it could open downwards. But the key idea for this question is we need to recognize that it has zeros at negative 2 and positive 4. And from the graphs alone, you should be able to decipher which one of those it is. So let's bring those graphs back. So you may notice that there's only one graph that actually crosses at the values of negative 2 and positive 4. And so that's going to be this one at answer choice A. All the other ones have different zeros. And so A is going to be your answer.